Hello guys, um, welcome to your collective reading. So I am no longer doing the 12 zodiac because it's not practical, so it tires me out and um, I just would like to check, you know, um, energies that are maybe affecting our moods, our emotions and uh, just to be aware of those energies and um, yes, let's do a collective reading. Hello there folks, welcome to your um, energy check uh, reading uh, with tarot cards and oracle cards. So this is, uh, this will I will check the energies that are surrounding you that may be affecting your mood or your emotions. So I have here uh, finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So this is the energy of, you know, maybe um, the other person doesn't have a job or you don't have a job or there are some issues with the money affecting the relationship. And then we have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Uh, this talks about letting go of um, like beliefs that are no longer serving you. And of course, letting go of habit um, negative habits you know negative behaviors and then I have um, stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so um, yeah so positive I believe that your person or you um, is really creating this atmosphere of positivity so this actually brings in positive you know, uh, will bring in good things to the relationship. And then I have um, cross. So this talks about the burdens, what cross you have to carry in your life and look into that and um, know that this pain, the suffering will go away. Um, this could pertain about finances and career. And the key is, you know, there's something important that is to be revealed to you. Um, there's some new doors opening. Um, there's some knowledge that you will have to find out, you know, studying the books, um, something about an important information that is coming to you that is going to reveal itself. And it's, uh, this is the moon card. It's coming in fast. This, uh, predetermined success, um, good things coming towards you. This is also like things that are, uh, repeatedly happening. Um, so cyclical um, situations or something about truth it, when it comes to you know things you do mundane and repeated tasks that are causing you know this burden in front of you this responsibility I feel like there is a way of um, seeing your responsibility in a whole new light and uh, putting some fun into it being optimistic and um, let's check your Celtic cross. All right. So the current energy here is the five of cups. At the very top, we have the ace of cups. Underneath is uh, six of cups. So knight of cups were, is in the past. It's all about cups in here. And the outcome here is the five of pentacles. So someone is not feeling too good about themselves here. So let's see. Um, so the five of cups, this talks about crying over spilt milk. So basically what it, what this is saying is that um, you are looking at the things that you have lost instead of focusing on what you still have. And the thing about this is you need to cross the bridge in order to see the other two cups. You might have to burn bridges. And um, I can see here that as you go along this journey, you have this king of cups, you know, this feeling of being empowered, being balanced uh, with your emotions. You know, you can deal with any extreme and um, emotions within you or how others, you know, interact with you emotionally, how they made you, how they, they're making you feel. So I feel like there's this power within you to get through whatever emotional roller, cost, uh, roller coaster you're going through. And then at the very top, we have the Ace of Cups and the Five of um, Wands. And the Ace of Cups, this is about your cup runneth over. It talks about, you know, this feeling of more than enough. Um, just keeps coming in just you know pure joy love and care for you uh this type of energy is an offer from the universe 
uh, it's also a new love, new beginning. And you may feel like this is some kind of a change that you need to go through. There's like, um, like I feel like there is like a jungle or like a, a jungle kind of energy that you need to go through. You need to go through this um, chaotic environment, this uh, competition, conflict. There's a, it's challenging, you know. Uh, what's underneath or what the universe wants you to know is the six of cups um this is letting go of the past as well so like the past person coming back uh this is the mercury retrograde card as well um misinformation miscommunication i see six of cups is about um nostalgia like memories some kind of a lingering memories that you cannot let go of or you cannot um get a bird's eye view of it's it sucks you in um and this is with the ace of wands so something from the past is coming in to uh fire up some energy i feel like this energy of the past past may be giving you this tingly nice feeling and um really giving you this zest uh, this power this um energy this vitality in life and um it could be like a relationship coming back it could be like an interest a childhood interest coming back i feel like this energy brings you that inspiration to to continue with whatever it is that you're going through right now and we have the knight of cups this is our scorpio energy it could be any uh water sign that's um cancerian and pisces um it talks about the moon and the moon talks about hidden information path and clear so um this could be you this knight of cups where there were um information that wasn't clear but it's going to reveal itself really fast here with the moon and the secret and the key um you may feel like things just aren't clear someone is not saying something there's some information that is hidden and then the outcome here is the five of cups so the five of cups um talks about feeling inadequate and it's with the sun so um it's not you know it's not the situation that you're in but your mindset and i feel like you realize this so you it's like not being able to get the goal that you want but then you're very um optimistic you're enjoying the moment and really looking forward to um being excited every day and just happy with what you have here with the sun you know being innocent being happy in a state of bliss um despite the fact that there are negative things here you're feeling um it's like you're happy even if you're not having everything you have and you're just you know staying positive um despite the negative here um so so yep that's what i have here and um yep so more of this is like emotion some kind of mood um you may be going through heavy emotional um situation here let's check your person's energy all right so your person's energy i have the four of swords and the page of wands so um the four of swords they may be uh like an air sign so that's libra uh, gemini and aquarius um they want this new beginning they were looking forward to this new beginning they may be coming towards you and you know wanting to say hi and hello uh, but they're in this energy of get giving themselves some mind space for now um this is our recovery card or recuperation card um, taking a time off on a vacation um, there are still three sources that is coming to get them they feel uh, but they are in a meditative meditative state they're calm and um, there they still have the angst to to fight this but they are really looking forward to bringing their full glory again and the page of ones I feel like this person is going to send you a message as soon as there are they are feeling okay so they see you as this three of ones uh, you may have um, I see Gemini, you may have fire sign in your chart. Um, we have um, fire sign is Aries Leo Sag. And this feels like waiting for your ship to come. Sh your sh 
feel like your ships are coming in all right so you may they may see you as this waiting and they and it's with this ace of swords they feel like you're waiting for clarity you're waiting for some communication some information to flow in all right and then um are their plans they have this knight of swords and the and the uh reversed um five of uh, pentacles we did see five of pentacles earlier with the celtic rocks so this could be a clue that uh, this feel person is feeling inadequate um they may have air sign in their chart so gemini libra aquarius they're feeling inadequate and um feeling kind of lost or they're going through challenge conflict not necessarily money because the number five talks about challenges conflict and um they may have gotten off of it right now um, because they've been fighting for truth. They've been fighting information. They're really taking action on truth, on justice, on honesty. And and that's this, a person's energy with this knight of, of swords. And they are feeling like they're in this bridge of coming off from this five of pentacles to the six of pentacles, which is, you know, overflowing um positivity and overflowing abundance as well um and thank you so much guys for watching this collective reading i'll talk to you next time bye for now